Hello, my name is William Brown. I am head of social media and development at The Incorruptibles, and I am here with Anna. Anna, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us about yourself? Sure. My name is Anna Callahan. I am the founder of The Incorruptibles. All right. And what is the mission of The Incorruptibles? Yeah. In a sentence, it is to fill all levels of government with people who will fight for economic, racial, social, and environmental justice. And, and really, I can kind of go on a little bit because, um, you know, that's the mission. Uh, but the way that we do that is through training. Uh, we've developed a number of different workshops that I have facilitated in cities around the country, uh, which uh, really train people in a more effective model of progressive political organizing, where we build coalitions of underrepresented communities uh, in the city and then run slates of candidates to the city council and school board. Um, and that way it makes it a lot easier to implement progressive policy, which is always the final goal. So we've talked about what kind of your experience of being arrested, engaging in pro uh, protests and then being arrested by police. And then you've had exposure to uh, law enforcement and the criminal justice system. And looking at the situation that we find ourselves in right now, where we have protests that are widespread throughout the country on this subject of police abuse of power and violence against citizens uh, and to the press, and in some cases, elected officials who are there either observing or immersed in the experience themselves of the protest. So, uh, what are some of the thoughts or feelings about how timely a workshop like this may be uh, for people to look at, to review, uh, and to take in consideration? Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think that uh, it's a good moment for people to begin thinking about policy. Um, reducing police budgets uh, is, is great. Um, they have been growing and ballooning for decades. Um, and, you know, I, I really appreciate how much people are finally talking about um, using, not using armed uh, response um, for responding to mental health calls, uh, for responding, for really being around for traffic related calls. We don't need armed police for that. Um, there's so many, and for, for dealing with a homeless population that is to really not, uh, criminalizing homelessness is definitely not something that is helpful to society. Um, so I love how people are thinking about uh, taking resources from our armed police policing system and using them in ways that are more helpful. And not just specifically in ways to respond, um, but also in ways simply to help the community in after school programs, in job training, uh, and in other places uh, that will, you know, in the long run, uh, prevent crime from happening in the first place. Um, but, but right now, I think uh, looking at other specific policy proposals um, around how do we get from point A to point B um, is good. Uh, and, and also this particular policy proposal was designed uh, to, to get people to look at policy proposals very critically. Um, it's not uncommon for policy proposals around something that is a hot topic like this is to be brought in by those that don't want change. And they make it sound good and they make it look good um, and yet it has no teeth. And if they can get their policy proposal passed before the community really has the chance to write up a good policy proposal, then that, then the issue uh, is kind of the, the window in time is over because there already is a policy in place. People think things are gonna get better. Um, and, it, and it's not until much, much later that we realize that that policy didn't work. So I think looking now um, very critically at the policy proposals that are coming out of city councils um, 
and other organizations, other governments, state governments, uh, is really important. Uh, and this workshop is designed to help you think critically about those kinds of proposals.